This book is Just Add Watercolor by Helen Birch. It's a fairly small book, as you can see by my hands, and it is not an instruction book. What it is, is an inspiration book. So it's got a bunch of different images, and for each one it has just a brief description of how this image was made. So for example, it'll show you something in monochrome and give you a little description and the artist's name. Daytime and nighttime, bold and unusual colors. So if you're looking for step-by-step, -step, first you get these colors, like I really like this. <laughs> so I would look at this and I would look at the artist's name and then I'd go Google them and I'd find out what else they did and I'd figure out how to do it. But this book here does not show you those details. It's not meant to do that. It's meant to be a little inspirational book that you take a look through and say, oh, I like that, you know, oh, maybe I don't like this. I happen to like that. But <laughs> my point is, if you go through and say, okay, I don't like teacups or, oh, I don't like cityscapes or, oh, I don't like flowers or stenciling, but, oh, I really like that bird, then that's great because, you know, it's fine that you don't like every single page. And who knows, maybe this year you'll go through and say, oh, I really love these colors and I don't like that for some reason. But then maybe in a couple years you'll go through and say, oh wait, I didn't like this before, but now I'm at a point in my life where I really like that style and I want to give it a try. And part of what is also fun about this is because there's so many different entries in here, is that on a given day you could use a random number generator or just you'll paw through the book randomly and land on a page, like let's say you land on this page and you say, okay, normally I don't like using those kinds of colors, but let's give it a try. My challenge for the day is to use those colors and see what I can create. And you could do something that you really adore that you never would have tried before. You know, they talk about overpainting gouache, doing imaginary landscapes. So there's just all these different things that you might never think about trying. And the fact that you have this book with such a wildly random different set of styles is wonderful. Now there are certainly places out there like Pinterest and so on that you could just go and look through things. But I like that in this one they are coordinated so it's not like you're getting 12 of the exact same things. I'm talking about enhancing ink digitally or using template outlines. So there's a variety of different styles and they are all completely different from each other. So when you page through this you're hitting a variety of options in here. And they're also grouped by categories. So like we're in the mixed media section now. I think that's really pretty. If you want to be working on a mixed media project, then you could just go paging through the mixed media section and see if something strikes your fancy. If you want to do some digital work, then you could just go through the digital section and see what hits your interest. These are other water-based media. And again, with each one, it gives you the artist name so that you can track them down and get more details about them. It gives you a brief description of what they did, but it is definitely not giving you the full, like I really like that one, it doesn't give you a full step-by-step -step instructions. So if you wanted to figure it out, then that's where you'd go to YouTube or another book or something like that and figure out the exact details or <laughs> experiment on your own, which is, you know, the way people used to do it when they went to museums and saw something that they liked. They didn't have the options to go and uh, figure out exactly how the artist did it. They experimented and they, they came up with things that made them happy. In the back, there's some descriptions about what is cold pressed paper, what is hot pressed paper. So there's some sorts of details in here about that sort of stuff, just so you know what they're talking about. But in general, this is a book for inspirations. So this is warmly recommended and they do provide some URLs, but it's easier just to Google them <laughs> and find out where they are. Uh, all sorts of inspirational ideas, a wide range of different options, and I really enjoy this a lot.